Metro West Ambulance is the primary ambulance service for all of Washington County, stretching from West Portland to the Tillamook State Forest. The county and Metro West have worked under an emergency services agreement for the past 25 years, first signed in 1997. Just in the fact that it's been that long, it's antiquated, um, and our ability to modernize our system and move forward is, um, is halted by the actual agreement. County leaders like Adrian Donner say they desperately need an upgrade. Working together to develop a system that will be modernized, will better serve the, the folks who call 911 in Washington County. The county will end its current contract with Metro West next year, opening up the bidding process to anyone. Metro West says it supports that decision, even if it means having to compete for the next contract. This has not been a surprise, and we actually welcome it because it will give a chance to do some needed updates. Moving forward, Washington County wants a centralized dispatch system, unified and consistent data sharing between the ambulance provider, fire departments, and the 911 center, and greatly improved quality metrics, detailed ways to track how well EMS workers are doing and what happens after they arrive to a call. Finding out how quickly they can identify a heart attack, how quickly they can let the emergency department know, that's much more telling for the outcome for the patient. Right now, the county's agreement with Metro West Ambulance is limited. It mainly tracks ambulance response time. EMS teams have up to eight minutes to respond in the most populated areas, like Beaverton, Tigard, and Hillsborough. They have 11 minutes to get to an emergency in this green area, and up to 30 minutes the farther north and west you go in the county. Both county leaders and Metro West have stressed that upgrading the EMS system has been in the works for years, and it's not a performance-based move. Is this shift in any way connected to performance within the county? No, uh -uh. It's, it's really based on this ongoing transition um, looking at the system. Performance has not played a role in this decision moving forward, and so all of our performance is public record. But the public record shows EMS performance is falling short of county benchmarks. Washington County requires Metro West to respond on time to 911 calls at least 90% of the time. In the county's most recent 18-month review, Metro West failed to meet that benchmark throughout the last five months of 2021, falling to about 83%. Metro West Public Information Officer Jan Lee says staffing issues throughout the healthcare industry are to blame. I would say that staffing has been a big issue, definitely, along with call volume. The types of patients, you know, with the surges in COVID, um, there's a lot of a lot of different factors that come into play there. Metro West also failed to meet another county requirement, essentially just being available. It's one that affects local fire departments as well. The county tracks something called arm up, the number of times another agency must go beyond responding to also transport and take care of the patient. Metro West can turn over no more than 1% of its calls to another agency, like a fire department crew. For most of 2020 and the beginning of last year, that was no problem. But by the end of 2021, Metro West had surged past the allowed level. Lee says a surge in calls, how long it takes to get someone turned over to a hospital, and ambulance staffing can all play a role in that number spiking. When we, when we take a look at the performance that's been discussed with Washington County, and again, just several different factors. In this review of the EMS system, Washington County says Metro West Ambulance did not satisfactorily meet their obligations. Lapses in performance were not singular events, and performance improvement plans were started earlier this year. All that said, Donner says the county hopes to have an updated EMS system and ambulance provider in place by the fall of 2023. We've been working for 10 years to really figure out where the system is going and how to build the best system we can. 